hi friends how are you today today i am going to tell you that how you can trade with the combination of bollinger band and stochastics oscillator okay so this is the most useful indicators i think most of the traders using these both the indicators okay so today you will learn that how you can trade with the combination of uh, these indicators so i will not describe the full detail of stochastics and bollinger band i have separated video i will post the link in description box you can watch my video of stochastics and bollinger band separately okay so uh, i will show you my setting of stochastics my setting are 1433 for stochastics and for bollinger band uh, my moving average is 20 okay see this uh bollinger band setting is 20 and deviation is uh, selected as 2 so there are some applications or some indicators uh, they are providing as 14 default so change it to 20 okay so now let's start so see this this is the very easy trade anyone can trade from here by seeing this stochastics okay but most of the time we failed here okay we fail most of the time in such situation okay let me choose another situation see this in such situation we will fail most of the time so how you can save us okay from this situation so i will show you okay we will use a strategy called bollinger band right uh, riding band strategy of bollinger band okay if you will see my video then you will see that there is a strategy called riding the bands okay so when candles will ride the band we will not think of selling because it is a strong trending sign strong bullish or bearish sign okay so see this here most of the candles consecutive candles riding the band they are closing above the band or body uh, candles body is at upper band or sometimes it can also can be out of the band like this okay so in such situation don't think for go opposite okay when it is on upper band don't think of selling when these are on lower band then don't think for buying okay so see this see this example see this this was see this it gave a buy signal from here okay from here and again we saw bearish cross over here but what happened it came down a little okay then again it start rising okay again see this situation this situation we think that it will fall now because it's overbought but it didn't fall it went up see this candles are riding the band or touching the band body are touching the band so don't think for selling in such situation after some consolidation we again find a sale signal here okay it came down to this level again is try to touch that line but again it came down so again we find a bullish sign here then it came up to here then it consolidate okay it didn't went up but finally we find a sale signal here then it came down to this level up to the this candle okay but maybe suppose we sold here okay what will think that it's uh, it's getting oversold now so we will think of exiting from sale and we will try to went and buy but see this what our bollinger band saying just candle is riding the band okay candle is riding the band so definitely we will not go opposite okay so we will stay in sale suppose we sell uh, we sold here definitely we must book our profit near to this candle or after this big green candle we need to book our profit 
however it's out of the band but uh, most of the time when we have a very big candles okay candles most of the time followed by a small opposite candle okay so same thing happened here one candle then one candle is closing inside the band then it retraced to some level then again it came down okay so in such situation bollinger band help us and will sell, save us from opposite trade see this candles are most of the candles are green okay when we have some very little little candles okay so suppose we bought here okay we bought here it didn't came too much down from here and this was also a good sign of buying because back to back candles are closing at the band below the band then it retrace sorry it consolidate then it went up okay but what we'll think that it's above 80 level we can go in we will think of selling okay but see this most of the candles are green okay and after some time we saw that candles are riding the band so definitely we will not think of selling at this level okay at any candle we will not think of selling we can buy we have when we have such situ situation okay so definitely we'll make some extra profit and we will definitely able to use some small stop loss and we will definitely it these strategy will save us from loss also okay so now i will give you one example in downtrend just a second let me find any situation see this this will be a, a good example see this it gave a sale sign here okay and we saw that there is uh, it is below 20 almost at till 10 level i have added some level 10 level and 90 level okay so it is at 10 level it is oversold so what we will think that suppose we sold here we will think of exiting from sale okay but see what bollinger band is showing bollinger band showing candles are riding the band outside okay so definitely we will look for some more profit okay and when candle closed when candle closed and it's also a green candle inside the band it went up from here so definitely don't try to book your profit here okay wait for some more time to book your profit here okay and one more thing in this suppose we have a we took a there is a bullish trend okay there is a bullish trend and we take a sell position with the help of stochastics and bollinger band okay so this line this middle line will react as a support when it's a down uh, uptrend and it will react as a resistance when it's a uptrend sorry downtrend okay so most of the time you will see that suppose you sold here okay let me take some example see this okay no this was not a trending market see this this was a downtrend okay suppose we made our sale here then we book profit then we saw that it can reverse see this it didn't cross this line most of the time it touching this line okay however it's consolidating for this area but it didn't went up to this line so definitely if you are going opposite to the trend book your profit when candles are touching this line okay see this it 
came down and retracing to this line and then again down okay so this is uh, early chart so most of the time you will see such situations see this this is a downtrend okay price are falling down came down out of the band then again touch uh, touch middle line then again down then again touch middle line then again down so definitely if you are going opposite to the trend book your profit when candle are touching this line okay if you are following this strategy bollinger band strategy so i hope this video will help you a lot in trading and subscribe to my channel don't forget to uh, hit like okay thanks for watching bye